Thank you for staying with us on Good Morning Abuja, a breakfast program on NTA Channel 5. On our second conversation this morning, we shall be looking at marital issues. And uh, Coach Sophia Kasim is here to tell us more on uh, what to do and what not to do in order to get it uh, right. Uh, join me as I welcome Coach Sophia Kasim to the program. Good morning, Ma. Good morning. Good to have you here. Thanks for having You're me. You're looking radiant. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, our topic says ways to fix marital incompatibility. Okay. Mm. Yes. So before we look at the ways of fixing marital incompatibility, uh, what are actually the causes of marital incompatibility? Okay. Before we go into the causes, I would like to uh, talk a little bit about uh, marital incompatibility. Marital incompatibility is the inability of a couple to reach a common ground as to how they want to run their marriages. Mm -hmm. It is the inability of a couple to live together in peace and harmony. It is a situation where couple live exclusively of each other exclusively of each other without having marital common marital goals okay and this could lead to uh, toxicity it could lead to disunity and uh, infidelity and in worst cases domestic violence and uh, of course divorce okay yes now let's look at the causes of marital incompatibility we have poor communication skills we have um, lack of sexual compatibility and we have um, a poor management of time between uh, personal pursuits and the marriage that we have um, not uh, deciding uh, the number of children um, talk about incompatibility and the causes based on what you just enumerated you know before you get into you know marriage or we 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 agree to marry of course uh, you know some of this thread must have maybe uh, uh, shown or, or b b b was visible for you to see before agreeing to marry your partner but why is it that um, is becoming obvious when after marriage yes people tend to pretend a lot people just want to get married they are pressurized by the society or by their family mm. so they just want to be mrs mr not minding the consequences of you know not uh, taking into consideration the red flags that we notice during the courtship so those red flags that were noticed during courtship mm. uh, are they not really too obvious for somebody to say no 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 i won't i cannot just spend the rest of my life with this yes. man or this woman people have issues differentiating the purpose of their going into marriage okay they say when the purpose of a thing is not known mm. abuse and misuse is inevitable mm. so people see red flags and they are carried away Way by the butterflies and the emotion and I tell couple or to would be couple with that when you want to make your choices you make your choices based on your values your principles and your standard you don't make your choices based on feeling mm. feelings and emotions. emotions emotions will frustrate you emotions will come and go they are not stable so when you are choosing a spouse or you are making your choice make your choices based on standard values and principles and not emotional feelings because the emotional feelings of course uh, yes uh, no you, you want to cut all the butterflies <laughs> that moment you are just thinking of the man the lady you uh, can't concentrate mm. no you try to just draw the the line between you know make your choices based on the reality that what values does this person have mm. on your value and see if they align with, with your, your values with your couple or to be uh, spouses a uh, value to make a choice and not 
on emotions. Emotions will come and we go. That's why when people get married, at some point in their marriages, they will not feel like, ah, I'm tired. Like really tired. They are, they, they, they are, they are frustrated. They are, they are not like, why did I even marry this person? What was I thinking? How did I get myself here? But at that point, they were making those choices. They made those choices based on their emotions. You know, before marriage, we have what we call emotional feeling. So now, what do we really look out for, for a compatible partner? You know, for you to know that this partner, I'm compatible with this partner. I'm not Basically, compatible with this. marriage is compromise, is, you know, you making adjustments, you making sacrifices. But be sure, there's a person I want to make those adjustments for. There's a person uh, that have the same value, share the same values. I saw somebody that complained about uh, why would people marry couple want to have children? That children are such a problem. They are so, you know, they are so much stress. Mm -hmm. So if you as a couple or as a would-be couple want to get married, you look for somebody that also share the same value with you, that, that have the intention of having kids. kids. Or children in future if you end up marrying somebody that the person's value is not to have children you def are you want to have children mm. you definitely have problems and conflicts mm -hmm. so sure. you watch out for those value your values are aligned with your couple or will be a uh, spouse's value you know you sometimes some people pretend yes they pretend so in that case <laughs> how do you handle that <laughs> you uh, i advise couple to first of all discover themselves you do self-discovering you have to know your love language you have to know your temperament your personality trait you have to know your value um don't pay more attention to your to your spouse or the person you want to marry pay more attention to yourself because when you know yourself it becomes very easy when you see somebody that can align with your value and what you stand for so you do self-discovery by knowing your love language by knowing your temperament your personality traits by knowing your 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 core value and your purpose on health what are uh, what you came to the uh, to this earth your calling so by the time you know all of this, you now you now be self aware of who you are, be able to make the right choices. Uh, nobody is really perfect, mm. but when you discover um, a kind of attitude or, or, or a behavior in a man mm. or a woman that you know you can handle or you can uh, manage, can premarital counseling help in this of direction? Of course, is the father is what we are asking people to do. Uh, it can help, yes. It baffles me when people uh, go into marriages without properly, you know, preparing, okay. taking proper preparation mm -hmm. before going into marriage. Um, people take courses to better their business. People take courses to better their career. Sportmen and women, when they want to go for Olympics, for marathon, you know, they, they train. They do other things to make other aspects of their life better. And it baffles me why people don't take courses or take, go to classes when they want to get married. Mm. It is very, very important because you are going into a, a, a contract or you are going to be living with another adult for the rest of your life. Mm. You have to, you know, know how to manage and live and cope with this person all the rest of your life. So we advise couple or would be couple to take preparatory counseling courses or sessions. If at these days we are asking mothers to go to classes or take courses on how to nurture and you know groom, raise a uh, well balanced children. So it's also the same for couples who want to get married. So for couples that are already you know <laughs> in <Married>. the business <laughs> and they discover they are incompatible mm. what actually can they do to remedy the situation yes they can do what i call the 3d approach okay yes the 3d approach 
the first thing is for you to decide that you want to make your marriage work like you are very deliberate about it you are intentional the second thing is for you to discover discover the problem areas that you have in your marriages so that you don't sit down and say okay we are having issues here we are having conflict here we are having you know we are not compatible in this area what do we do to make it better mm -hmm. then the third d is determination you have to be resilient you don't have to give up because marriage is teamwork and uh, you have to be intentional and deliberate and it's a lot of hard work all right thank you you've spoken very well on this and then um, we want you to uh, speak to nigerians out there watching us watching this program uh, on how to better their homes uh, you know to make it heaven on earth okay that's <laughs> actually possible if you want to <laughs> yes so first of all i would advise couples to put god first you have to put god first you see your marriage as a covenant not just between you and your couple or your partner, yeah. but also, uh, sorry, not just between you and your partner, but also between you and God. If you do everything in marriage, knowing that you are using your marriage to worship God, you will do everything to make it work. Mm -hmm. Don't say that you are pleasing your partner, but see it as a worship and you are pleasing the Almighty. Secondly, you have to be intentional and deliberate to make your marriage work. You have to put in the work. You know, you have to make a little adjustment, you have to make sacrifices, and you you have to, you know, adjust a little bit and there and compromise to make it work. The thirdly, I advise couple, please, do not dwell on your partner's negativity. Don't dwell on the flaws. Don't dwell on the shortcomings. Don't dwell on things they are not doing right. In as far as those things are not life-threatening. Try to concentrate on what they are doing right and not what they are doing wrong because it is what you dwell in, what you give to the universe that the universe gives back to you. If you keep seeing and dwelling on the negativity and the wrong things your partner is doing, they will keep occurring and occurring okay that's a very good one thank you very much um uh, coach safia kasim you've spoken very well on this uh, topic and we really appreciate your insight on the program thank you thank you i've been speaking with coach safia kasim she uh, is of course a marital coach and uh, we've been talking on uh, ways to fix marital incompatibility you've heard it all from her that um, couples should make a deliberate effort effort deliberate effort in uh, making their marriages work if they can and uh, when it becomes obvious that um, you know life is being threatened then you can just take a leave separate for a moment until you work on yourself and uh, come back again so the program is still good morning abuja it continues shortly